Hi guys, welcome to Dr. AI YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about axillary vein. So this axillary vein commences from the lower border of teres major. Here you can see the lower border. So it commences from the lower border of teres major. And this axillary vein terminate from the outer border of first rib. And this axillary vein is a continuation of basilic vein. So below the lower border of teres major, you can see the basilic vein. So this axillary vein is a continuation of this basilic vein. And after that, this vein continues as the subclavian vein. So, after this outer border of first strip, you can see the subclavian vein. So, this axillary vein also can be divided into three parts according to the pectoral minor muscle. So, here you can see the pectoral minor muscle. So, from outer border of first strip to medial border of pectoral minor, we called as the first part. And behind this pectoral minor muscle, you can see the second part. And from lower border of teres major to here, the third part. So this is the first part, second part and third part. Now let's talk about the tributaries of this axillary vein. So most of these tributaries correspond to the axillary artery and its branches. So we will see. So as correspond to the subscapular artery, here is the subscapular vein. And to correspond to the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery, there are also posterior and anterior circumflex humeral veins. So, the corresponding weights associated with the second parts are lateral thoracic vein and thoracoacromial vein. So, in axillary artery, you can see here the superior thoracic artery. But in here, there is no such a superior thoracic vein. So, this is the first tributary that doesn't correspond to the artery. So here you can see the cephalic vein. And apart from these branches, you can see the brachial vein also here. So I'll give a brief idea again. So there are three parts in axillary vein as the first part, second part and third part. So the first part is from the outer border of first strip to the medial border of pectoral minor. Second part is the area behind this pectoral minor muscle and the third part is from here to the lower border of teres major and here you can see most of the veins correspond to the axillary artery. So that's all about this axillary vein. I think you got a very clear idea about this. If you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.